So you're thinking about buying a short-term rental in Cape Coral, Florida? As one of Florida's fastest growing cities with over 5 million visitors to the area each year, Cape Coral can be a very attractive investment opportunity. However, as with any investment, it's important to have inside knowledge on the area, the information that will increase your profits and put more money in your pocket. Hello, welcome in. My name is Barry Cessna, your Cape Coral short-term rental expert with Carver Group International. I'm a local real estate agent and consultant with eXp Realty here in the beautiful city of Cape Coral, Florida. My passion is to help people move from wishing, hoping, and dreaming of owning a Florida home to actually making it a reality. My team and I work with local, national, and international investors here in South Florida identifying the best properties that will give the highest ROI or return on their investment. Now, one of the trends that we've been seeing here in Cape Coral and many other areas across Florida are clients investing in properties to be used as short-term rentals through companies such as Airbnb and VRBO. I'm sure you're familiar with those companies. And though it can come with slightly higher management costs than annual rentals, the financial rewards can be much, much more generous. Not to mention that you and your family can use it as you desire throughout the year. Now we also teach our clients how to automate and self-manage their properties, putting more money in their pockets each month and helping them to scale faster. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome. You're going to want to subscribe to the channel as I put out a lot of helpful information on the topic of short-term rentals here in Cape Coral and beyond. So maybe you're thinking about buying your vacation home and renting it out when you're not using it to generate passive income or maybe you want to retire in five, 10 or 15 years and you'd like to buy at today's prices and use the property as a vacation rental to pay down the mortgage until you are ready to make the move south. Or maybe you're an investor who wants to diversify their portfolio and buy into the Cape Coral market, which has immense upside potential for growth. Now in this video, I'm going to go over the seven things you should know before buying or converting your home to an STR or short-term rental here in Cape Coral, Florida. Now the first is location, location, location. As with all real estate, the location is very important. You're opening your doors to seasonal snowbirds, tourists, and families here for an enjoyable time. It's important to have easy access to restaurants, shopping, and close proximity to the best beaches in the area, including Fort Myers Beach and Sanibel. Cape Coral is broken down into four quadrants. You have the Southeast, Southwest, Northeast, and Northwest. Southeast Cape Coral is where it all started and remains the most desirable area for Airbnb properties. It is in close proximity to the downtown Cape Coral area with many great restaurants, bars, and entertainment. The Southeast Quadrant is the closest to the two Cape Coral bridges, providing you easy access on and off the peninsula to Fort Myers. The Cape Coral Yacht Club and Beach are also located in the Southeast part of the city. The Southwest area is desirable as well due to its close proximity to the downtown Cape Coral district, offering many great restaurants and nightlife options. The Southwest part of the city was developed after the Southeast quadrant and has many newer neighborhoods with mature landscaping as well. Now this is often considered one of the most sought after areas to live in Cape Coral. Other attractive areas include Cape Harbor, a high rise community with a marina, great restaurants and shopping, as well as boat rentals. And not far away is the Weston Resort and Marina Village with more great restaurants and shopping. The Northwest Quadrant is the newest area of Cape Coral and development is rapidly progressing. However, it is the area furthest from RSWR International Airport, downtown Cape Coral, and the white sandy beaches of the Gulf. The area west of Burnt Store Road is booming with new construction due to great parks many golf access canals in the area, as well as the projected Seven Islands residential and commercial development. From the Northwest area, you have access to one of my favorite areas, Matt Lachey, a small island community full of eclectic art galleries and great restaurants overlooking the water. And just past Matt Lachey is Pine Island, an outdoorsman's paradise with some of the best fishing in the area. 
Now worth noting is that many of the homes in the northwest and northeast parts of Cape Coral are on well and septic. The city is slowly moving north, laying the infrastructure for city water and sewer in these areas. However, this comes at a cost and is passed on to the homeowner. Now the northeast quadrant is growing fast as well. In the northeast, you have close proximity to comfortable restaurants and big box stores. The VA clinic is located in this part of the Cape as well. From here, you are close to the iconic shell factory of North Fort Myers and Gator Mike's Family Fun Center. Two other great attractions uh, centrally located in Cape Coral are the Sunsplash Water Park for families and the Dolphin Run Distillery for adults. Number two, canal, not always the best option. Now, Cape Coral has canals, a lot of canals. In fact, Cape Coral is known as the Venice of the United States due to its over 400 miles of navigatable saltwater and freshwater canals. Saltwater canals are the most desirable and come at a premium. Now they can be found in Southeast, Southwest and Northwest Cape Coral. Saltwater canals have direct access to the Gulf of Mexico. Now I want you to imagine packing a lunch with your family and walking into your backyard where your boat is awaiting your arrival at your own private dock. You load up and navigate the canal system out to the open waters and adventure ahead maybe a deserted island, maybe lunch on Captiva, or an afternoon of sport fishing. Freshwater canals can be found in all four quadrants and offer great views from your lanai. Freshwater fishing, kayaking, and boating. So the question is, should I buy a home with a canal for my short-term rental? Now it's extremely important to have a real estate agent with local knowledge when purchasing a canal home for short-term rentals. The canal homes will rent out for more than a home without a canal, and they are more desirable to your guests, meaning higher occupancy. However, canal homes come at a higher premium and your margins may be a bit thinner. Now, with that being said, it depends on how you are planning to use your short-term rental home. Is this your retirement home or second home? And you've always dreamed of parking your boat in the backyard? Or you love the idea of watching the manatees float by? Cape Coral is a boater's paradise and we, we recommend taking full advantage it's important to always know your goals and end game when you're investing. If your goal is appreciation, then golf access canal homes in the right area of Cape Coral make amazing opportunities for building wealth. We do a detailed analysis on your investment prior to your purchase, giving you peace of mind. Now the third is, is a pool important? And the short answer is yes, yes, of course. Cape Coral is in Southwest Florida. We have lots of sunshine and hot weather. We attract families from all over the United States and the world. Having a private pool sets your property apart. It makes it more desirable, meaning higher occupancy. Vacationers will pay a premium for your pool. Who doesn't love the idea of lounging poolside all day in your own private oasis? Now, you will also want to have a pool safety fence to provide a worry-free environment for families. A pool heater is a great amenity to have for those cool January days as well. Typically, your guests can be charged if they use the heater as this can increase the electric bill. Another concern I hear is, I have to pay someone to clean my pool. This is just an expense of doing business as an owner of a short-term rental. Typically the cost is 80 to $100 per month. Other expenses to consider include the landscaper that keeps your yard looking amazing and the exterminator that'll keep your reviews from plummeting. Landscapers typically cost about 100 to 120 per month and exterminators about 350 to $400 per year. Number four, Make it modern to compete, not hodgepodge. As an owner of your own mini hotel, your primary goal is to have guests. You want to maximize your occupancy while keeping the rates high. A great place to start is the furnishings. You don't have to break the bank, but you do need to have a similar style or theme throughout, whether it's modern contemporary, beachy coastal, or a little eclectic. It needs to be cohesive. New is better than old your guests will know if the furniture has been there since the 1980s. Another tip I recommend is professional photos. If you want to stand out, if you want your home to be the first booked, you must have those professional photos. Your iPhone just isn't gonna give the same pizzazz. Mattresses are another area owners drop the ball. You don't have to buy a $4,000 mattress, but don't buy that $299 outlet special either. You want your guests to come back year after year, and this is one of the details that can make a huge difference. More beds means more money. Get creative, think trundles, bunk beds, and memory foam sleeper mattresses. The average home in Cape Coral has three bedrooms, but two and four bedroom homes can be found as well. 
Now, social media is your best friend. Your guests will love to post about your home and their experience. Give them something unique to post about. Maybe your home has a theme, a cool mural, awesome lighting, a game room or a tiki hut. The key is to be creative. When potential guests see a post about your home from a friend or relative, you want them to think, wow, I got to stay there. That's an amazing house. The bottom line is you are competing with other owners and you want to position yourself to rise above the competition. Now, number five, yes, you do actually have to pay taxes. The great thing about owning an investment property is all the tax benefits. Since the IRS considers an investment property a business, you get many business deductions when investing in Cape Coral. Some typical deductions include mortgage interest, management fees, and depreciation. However, when operating a vacation rental, you are responsible for the sales tax. Lee County charges a 5% tourist development tax, which goes towards beaches, ballparks, and attractions. And the state of Florida charges 6.5% sales tax. Now, the good news is that typically, your guests are going to pay this for you. On major platforms such as Airbnb and VRBO, the tax is collected with rental payment. It is still your responsibility to make sure that the county and state receive their money. Cape Coral is a short-term rental friendly city. They do have a few policies to be aware of. Guests must rent for at least a minimum of seven days. This is designed to encourage weekend partiers to go elsewhere and helps keep our tranquil neighborhoods tranquil. You also must register your property with the city of Cape Coral and pay a small fee of $35, as well as an annual tax of $5.50 per bedroom in your short-term rental. Number six, 10% down or 20% down. When buying your Cape Coral home, you will need to decide how you're going to use it. If you're buying a second home, meaning you plan to use it as a vacation home, you can purchase your home for as little as 10% down. There are some things that you need to know about purchasing as a second home. Your mortgage company may put restrictions on the number of days that you can rent it out each year. It must be at least 50 plus miles from your personal residence, and you will want to understand the tax benefits of having a second home. Another option is buying as an investor, meaning you're buying the home for the sole reason of making a profit or to help pay down the mortgage while holding for long-term appreciation. This does, however, require a larger down payment of 15 to 20%. With the investor option, you can rent it out as you please without restrictions from the mortgage company. You can use it as a short-term rental, long-term rental, or seasonal rental. And you can also enjoy the home while on vacation or move in permanently when the time arrives. The good news is if you can make several deductions running an investment property, the IRS considers it a business and allows you to take business deductions. Some common deductions include mortgage interest, cost of maintaining the property, property taxes, home insurance, utility costs, advertising, and management costs. Many people buy second homes and then decide to use them as short-term rentals. This can be done, but it's best to consult your mortgage company or accountant prior to making this change. Number seven, choose the right team. Your success depends on it. It starts with a knowledgeable realtor, a real estate consultant who is familiar with the area, a consultant who often works with investors, who has experience with Airbnb properties in Cape Coral, and most importantly, a consultant who has a team of professionals able to advise and assist you. Players on the team should include an accountant, real estate attorney, interior designer, lawn care, pest control, pool cleaner, and management company. Also, for our international investors, it is crucial to be introduced to an accountant and an attorney who understands the tax laws in your country and how they correspond with the U.S. tax and legal structure laws. A great realtor understands the market, not only the sales market, but the short-term rental market as well. They understand the numbers and will work with your goals, whether they be cash flow, long-term appreciation, or simply you want to retire in Florida in the shortest time possible. You must know and understand the numbers. Will the rents cover the expenses? What's my cash on cash return? Ask for the numbers on every property you are serious about buying. You can choose to manage the property yourself. This is the fastest way to scale your business and we will actually educate you on how to set this up, how to automate your Airbnb business for a streamlined, worry-free operation. You can rest assured that with the right tools, your property will be producing at optimal levels. This will encourage five-star reviews, moving your property up in the algorithms, keeping the occupancy very high. For our clients, 
that like the more passive approach, we have several great short-term management companies here in the area that can do all the work for you. This also ensures that your home stays in great shape as property management companies will be keeping close tabs on your home, as well as monitoring the cleaning service, landscaping, and pool service. Short-term property managers in the Cape Coral area can typically cost between 20 to 30% of the collected rents. We negotiate the property managers to get you the best discounts. My name is Barry Cessna with Carver Group International, and my team and I specialize in helping domestic and international investors get great returns on their investments through short-term rentals. We work with you through the acquisition process and connect you with the professionals that will ensure many years of successful investing. Cape Coral is an extraordinary city with a short-term rental market that is projected for incredible growth for the next several years. Purchase now and take advantage of the continued appreciation while using your rental income to pay down your mortgage. When the time arrives for you to retire to paradise, you will be glad you purchased now and took advantage of this profitable short-term rental market. Now, if you like the information that we provide, please click that like button below and subscribe to be the first to watch new videos when they are uploaded. We also have amazing short-term rental investment opportunities in Orlando near Walt Disney World and in the Miami Financial District. Now is a great time to learn about the investment opportunities that exist in Cape Coral and beyond as real estate is a great hedge against inflation. Now I invite you to contact me today. Schedule a 15 minute Zoom appointment to have all your questions answered making realty dreams a reality.